While we're all stuck in quarantine because of this unfortunate situation in the world right now, me and a few buddies have decided to record a cover tune. The one we decided on is one of my favorite Zeppelin tunes of all time, if not one of my favorite songs of all time. Track two on disc one of Physical Graffiti, The Rover. <laughs> So we've got my pal Clayton on the bass, Steve Plants from Under the Mountain has agreed to sing with us and we don't have a drummer as of yet, but we're looking for somebody. Clayton just sent me a scratch bass track he recorded and some drums that he programmed, just so we can get some more scratch tracks going and get a good foundation for uh, the real tracking on this song. So I'm just about to lay down some scratch guitar parts. So I'm using my project guitar. It's a Man Lawsuit Les Paul. So I've taken this one and modified almost everything on it. I still need to do a couple of the volume pots and the uh, bridge pickup, but, but pretty much everything else has been replaced. I've got that plugged into my uh, Mo2 828X interface I'm using uh, Joey Sturge's Tone Tone Forge plugin for my guitar sound. For now, I think, uh, I think when I actually do the recording of this, uh, once we've got some drum tracks and everything, I'll be firing up the old amps. But until then, no need to bother the neighbors. with this song ever since the first time I heard Physical Graffiti. I think the riff is uh, one of the coolest, just most swaggery riffs ever that... <laughs> just drips with cool. And that guitar solo still stands as one of my favorites of all time. Oh. Seven o'clock, time to cheer for the nurses on the front line. Yeah. I can do better than that. You know what I'm missing? click track. So I tried lining up the original Rover to a click track. It was 98 beats per minute-ish, but you could tell pretty well that that song was not recorded using a metronome. It was the 70s after all. So when Clayton programmed the drums, he uh, set them to 105 beats per minute, which seems like a comfortable pace for it. mess around with that ending. And so I could just play this song all day long. I think one more will give me enough to comp for now while I uh, go through and learn all the little riffs going through there. 
because there's a lot of them. guilty of it myself, one thing that I absolutely hate when I'm producing bands is when they tune up, get their guitar perfectly in tune, and then just start wanking away and bending the strings and soloing and throwing their guitar right back out of tune before a take. It drives me nutty. I'll let the guitar player in me gets it. Always forget that riff. favorite part of recording myself, comping myself. That's out of tune. Don't like that. Oh, really didn't like that. Alright. No, not alright. Nope, rushed. Ugh. Ooh, nailed it. What the hell happened there? Yeah, that'll work. To scratch track after all. So I didn't know before what the rhythm guitar was doing going into the solo there. But listening to the roar, sounds like he's doing a... something like that. So, let's do that. And I'm horrendously out of tune. Of course I'm out of tune. I opened a door. So my camera's battery died through most of this overdub section. I've just been doing all the uh, chorus parts, the arpeggio things. And then double tracks through the bridge and the solo section, the rhythm parts. So I've just got this one more chorus to do, and then it's solo time. sound weird to me. They never quite sound in tune. Yeah, I can do better than that. It sounded pretty 
pretty good. One more like that and I should have something to comp. Crap, I'm gonna need to print some of these files down so I don't get a bunch of lag destroying my solo. Alright, solo time. I mean, this is still only the scratch track, but hey, I really like this solo. Switching over to the SG because that's my preferred soloing guitar. I've had this thing since I was 16. Done a lot of soloing on it. I wonder how many times I've played this very solo on this guitar. Probably what I figured out the solo for this song on. Alright. Uh, tone, I like the tone. <laughs> for the Les Paul. I know I'm going to need to do some overdub stuff there. Oh, that's louder already. This solo. It's not exactly ripping fast. It's not exactly overly technical. It's just got so much groove to it. Just like the whole song. It's just nothing but groove. And there's some super cool licks in it too, like uh just got so much feel to it. It's also really fun to play, so there's that.
the ending of that one and the beginning of the one before, I think I got it, but I would like to nail this in one take before my camera's memory card fills up. And it's just a scratch track, I know, but like I said about the rest of this song, I can play this all day long. So, time for me to do a quick uh, five minute mix on this one and send it off to Steve and Clayton. I'll be back with another video log when I get some tracks back from them. So, until then. <laughs>